Um, it has been snowing during the night and um, I had my D850 outside making a time lapse before it started snow. I brought uh, two power banks for charging batteries and I have this external power for powering up, see, powering up the D850. So for the D850 it's fine, I have batteries enough for the rest of today. The other batteries I charged last night, so I have it for another full day, um, maybe a little more, but it's really thick, heavy clouds, and even with my big solar charger, it's uh, it's uh, not easy to charge anything in this weather. And I'm using a lot of power. I'm using for the laptop to power up. I'm using for the for the batteries. I'm using for microphones. I'm using for uh, you know. Uh, emptying the cards on the computer I'm using for my little uh, safety equipment like my uh, inReach I'm using for my phone that controls the pan head uh, the sure pan head on the time lapses so um, I really really hope that it will clear up during the day or at least a little tomorrow so I can get everything recharged everything is working still working I'm just just feeling that I'm a little challenged about the battery thing so I haven't even got my morning coffee. I've been out looking for the time lapse, checking for the bear alarm, see if I could see any tracks, uh, uh, faffing with uh, emptying the time lapse from yesterday on the computer. But now it is time for coffee. <laughs> First cup of coffee, awesome. It has been pouring down outside, still raining a little bit. So uh, I got all the equipment ready, but now I have taken it in again because yeah, everything just gets soaked. So uh, I'm really eager to get out uh, because I have seen a reindeer out there and I have seen on my walk yesterday, I saw the little fox, but it was like 500 meters away and just escaped. So. Um, yeah, and there are some birds out there, some shore birds, and um, I just want to get out and photograph them. And it's a little frustrating to sit here in Svalbard in the little tent uh, when there's so much nice outside, and um, and it's raining and raining and raining. Um, but uh, yeah, I hope it'll stop a little bit so that uh, I can get out and photograph without everything getting totally soaked. So. Um, I'm a little afraid because I've had some uh, rain damage on some of my equipment uh, and it is too early on this trip to get more of that. So I, I'm sparing it. So spending the time eating my my late uh, lunch, recharging some more batteries, the phone, the inReach again. And uh, yeah, having a cup of coffee and then I hope the rain will stop. Yeah.
Oh, it's uh, still very cloudy, but it has stopped raining. And um, I hope to be able to just get a little bit of power to my batteries um, and my other stuff. So what I've done now is I put the big uh, uh, solar panel here. And the, uh, this is one of the good things about having them a little too large because even though on a cloudy day, they will produce something. And I think now it, they are getting like two, two and a half watt each power bank. Um, and uh, hopefully that's enough. Maybe just to fill them up so they can charge one, maybe two batteries this evening, but uh, at least it's better than nothing. Uh, now I just need to get the tent a little uh, better set up so that uh, if it starts to be windy, uh, it'll be fine when I'm gone. And um, after that, it's time to go out with the camera. Finally, the weather is dry again and uh, hopefully we can get some photos of uh, the reindeer that is walking over there somewhere. Yeah. Look what I found on my trip yesterday from the reindeer. And here on Svalbard, uh, if they're on a, what to say, on a skull, you're not allowed to take them. But when they're like this, I can bring them. So uh, now it's just to figure out if they will fit to my, into my backpack when I'm going home. But uh, yeah, <laughs> are they not nice? Look at this. They have really, it's not from the same, but it has really been a big deer. Look. <laughs> Yeah, going home on my wall. So, just tried to get the drone up, but uh, it started raining immediately. <laughs> so, uh, I just thought, now I want to focus on the, the most important thing. While I still have some good light and no wind and everything is actually beautiful, I want to see if I can find that uh, reindeer that I saw yesterday. I saw it in the hills, um, not far from the camp, but um, yeah, it has been raining all day. But look at this, now it is beautiful. If I can find that uh, fellow, it would be awesome. He didn't, he didn't look that shy. I was just out on a, on a walk and he just looked at me and like walked around eating. So uh, hopefully, if I'm not finding him or if I uh, find him and photograph him and I uh, want to move on, there are a lot of, I think it's uh, turns or something, fly, or some gulls flying around down there in huge numbers. And uh, it could be fun to go down and uh, actually Let's see if I can get anything there.
let me uh, see if I can find that deer. It seems like it has like left the island, which is not possible. So it must be here somewhere, somewhere. So I have seen the deer, the, the reindeer, it's uh, sitting in the hills over there, far away, looking at me actually. Just see. See, let me show you in a picture. See? There it is. So from this distance, the background is really nice with these uh, snow-covered mountains. But uh, let's see what happens if uh, if we can get a little bit closer. The good thing about the reindeer up here on Svalbard is that they are not shy. Uh, at least most of the time, I think they're not shy. I'm definitely not an expert on wildlife up here. I have photographed here so little, but um, yeah, that's. Uh, Let's see if that one is uh, willing to stay a little bit when I get closer. I got him up here and uh, he's hiding behind the hills. But he's not afraid of me at all. Not shy like the red deer back in Denmark. We have to sneak around and wearing 3D camouflage. This guy is totally confident. I don't know why. But uh...
I can move position because I'm really bad placed here. This is different than it used to be. Here it's me who's moving away from the deer. I just walked like 10 meters away from him. I only bring the 600 millimeter. There's some birds down there. Oh, it's so nice with the deer. <laughs> Reindeer. He's eating. He's, he's eating and then. Uh, Sometimes he looks up at me and he doesn't care if I talk apparently. He just looks up though. <laughs> really nice. What a beautiful reindeer. Imagine to be stuck out on this island. He's just here and he has to wait until the ice before he can get back. I don't think he's swim that far. That was nice. Now he's just walking away down there, actually towards my photo bag. <laughs> What's going to happen? But uh, yeah, I don't want to follow him. Like now he's apparently going away and I don't want to just follow in his tracks. Um, now he can have some peace and uh, I'll go home to the camp maybe go down to the shore and see if I can photograph some birds. And then, yeah, I think that's, I'll call it an evening, get ready for uh, tomorrow. So, uh, that was nice. Thank you.